Hello and welcome to The Spiritual View. I'm Jennifer Halliburton with The Awakened Gen Tarot. I'm a Soulful Revolution Certified Tarot Reader, Spiritual Advisor, and Healing and Manifestation Coach, and I'm one of the hosts for The Spiritual View. And today I'm going to be doing a, what I'm calling a spiritual sandwich pick a card. So uh, it is angel messages for you this week and it's in pick a card style. Um, before we get too far into it, I want to do a little bit of the housekeeping kind of things. So I want to share, let's see. Okay, just to remind you that we just had our episode five of the Spiritual View, our monthly collaboration events, where we went over full moon rituals. And um, so we just had the Capricorn full moon on Sunday, but this will give you guidance for every single month because every 28 days you get new opportunities of doing this. And so uh, if you haven't already, be sure to check that out. Uh, there's lots of great advice and guidance for you in it. And I also wanted to share that on my channel, and I will link this down in the description box below, I've done an abundance activation. This is a guided meditation to help you break, break through and break free from those deep-seated subconscious beliefs that are holding you back from financial freedom. And so my advice for you with, uh, with using this is just to listen to it once a day for 28... 21 for 21 days you can do it for 28 days if you want but do it for 21 days straight to help build in this habit to help really really break through with these affirmations deep down into the, your core of your subconscious all right so now then let's go ahead and take three deep breaths together and do the invocation to call in the spirit team and then we'll move forward with the reading all right so if you'll close your eyes and take three deep breaths with me Breathe in. That's one. Breathe in. That's two. Breathe in. That's three. I now call in my angels, archangels, ascended masters, my higher self and guardian angels to please enter this present space and time. I call upon Archangel Michael to place a bubble of protection around us. Only beings of the highest vibration of pure love and light may enter in. So be it. All right. So we're going to get started with our pick a card reading. Okay. So I've got... My second camera that I can add in here and okay so I want you to just start by looking at the three decks and choosing which one which pile you would like so with the first pile I set the intention for people who are looking for hope people who are needing hope in their lives right now so if that is something that you're needing this is going to be the first pile. With the second pile, I set the intention that this, these will be messages for people who are dealing with issues of the heart, trying to heal issues of the heart. So if you're needing guidance for deep-seated heart issues, this is going to be pile two. And then for pile three, this is for people who are looking to ascend on their spiritual path. So they're looking to bring in more balance and just to rise in their vibration. So this is your guidance for your spiritual path, group three. So we have hope, heart healing, ascension. All right. So make your choice now. Okay. So for pile one, these are the people who are needing hope. All right. So. I'm pulling cards with the Angels and Auras Oracle, the Divine Masters Oracle, the Barbara Moore Gilded Tarot, and then 
the Art of Manifestation Oracle. All right, so we're going to start with the angels and auras and get you an angel message for this week. So we have energy healing, holistic well-being, thriving, and vibrant. And so these are for people looking for messages for hope. And so energy healing is uh, the first card that has come out. And usually when this card comes out, it tells me that you have healing qualities about you, usually very um, connected with your hands. But what I'm getting with this is you might need to also be considering seeking out some sort of energy healing yourself. So some form of Reiki or uh, working with a shaman um, as like soul retrievals. I'm also thinking like sound, um, sound baths. There's in my city, we have just opened up a salt room. Um, so there's different ways that you can go about, but I think it's more of a holistic approach to healing that you need to be taking right now. So I'm going to go ahead and read the message that came with that card. Here, we'll go ahead and just stick that right here so we can keep it in focus. Um, all right, so we have... The world has many approaches to healing. Alternative disciplines of holistic wellness can be a positive pairing with Western styles of medicine. Considering Reiki, acupuncture, polarity, and other styles of energy healing can have transformative effects on your health. There's also an opportunity that if you draw this card, you're being called to become an energy healer. And so what happens a lot of times is that you go and you get this type of healing for yourself and you see how powerful it really is. And so you want to be able to, you know, not only do it for yourself, but be able to do it for other people, too. So I do think that it could open up paths for you as well. But you are being led to look at more holistic approaches towards your healing. All right, so the next card that we're going to look at is from the Divine Masters. And so what Master has a message for you today is Kathumi, initiatory experience. Your current situation is initiating your gifts. Okay, so you may be going through some trials and struggles right now, but it is an initiation process for you. It's opening up gifts for you, which could come back to this card right here about uh, ways that you actually will be healing with your hands. I mean, I do feel like this is a very physical thing that you will be doing with your hands. It's not just a psychic kind of healing um, that takes place. Uh, Kathumi. This is a time to take your intentions, plans, and gifts to the next level. It's time to stop playing small and think beyond where you are now. If you have held back on dreams, intentions, or plans, allow yourself to start moving towards the life that you want for yourself. Cosmic energy is surrounding you now, holding sacred space for you to delve deep into yourself in order to uncover gifts, talents, abilities, and more. The situation that you are moving through is very important for your life's path. Know that any limitations, challenges, or fears that are rising up are opportunities for you to fully show up and shine. Be aware that adversity is actually an opportunity to learn and teach. Know that there are no mistakes in the events that are unfolding for you now. Instead, there is a sacred plan based on the prayers, intentions, and visions that you have had for yourself, your life, and your spiritual path. And so I do think that you are opening up. So um, a lot of times, especially if you're going to be a very powerful spiritual leader, you'll go through an extreme um, like sickness, like health it issue you'll go to nearly the point of death. And so a lot of times, I mean, lots of uh, shamans or mystics will have near-death experiences will be the thing that actually opens them up into, you know, this next level. And so if you really think about, you know, having the near-death experience, you've literally pierced the veil. And so that is like, once that's open, that kind of 
always keeps this space that's open up and having that information coming, you know, through. And so I feel like if you're going through something significant, if you've been through something significant, I feel like that you've already been through it. What I'm getting is you've already been through this significant event. And so I'm getting that a lot of you probably have had the near death experiences or you've come close to death is what I'm getting. Just the situation that you have dealt with has brought you literally close to death. And that's why you're needing the hope. And the hope is what is coming out of this is like you have these gifts that are opening up. And so you're going to have to go to a more holistic approach. And so the more holistic approach than the traditional Western medicine is the thing that's going to be opening you up to even knowing that you have these other gifts available to you. Because like I said, once the healing is done for yourself, it's going to open you up to want to even be able to do that for other people. Okay, so uh, the first line here is just the current snapshot of where things are at for you right now. So we have the Page of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Devil. So with the Page of Cups... I feel like you're waiting for an apology to come in right now. You're waiting for some sort of apology to come in because this is about an apology and this is card is about waiting for things to happen. But um, I feel like that this is something that you're, it's, it's something that is holding you back. This, this need for this apology is something that is holding you back. It's keeping you trapped. It's keeping you connected. It's keeping you connected to something that you need to be moved away from at this point, because, um, you know, just that constantly they haven't apologized. They are probably not going to apologize. If you're having to demand it, they're probably not going to apologize. They're not giving it freely. And so it's probably not coming from the heart anyways. And you continuing to feel connected to needing this, needing some sort of apology, retribution, needing some sort of retribution. Okay. If we're coming back, to a health situation, a major health situation. A lot of times when people go through significant health situations, they do consider possibly going through lawsuits, um, suing the doctors or you know medical professionals that kind of had hands at play in this. I think that this is something that you need to pull back from if this is something, a path that you've been on, that you're not going to get probably the result that you're wanting from that. And you are needing to um, like just release it because it's keeping you trapped in that energy. And we don't need to focus anymore about the bad that happened. We're looking at the good that's coming from it. Okay. So what is your best move forward at this time? We have the sun, the four of pentacles and the king of swords. So the sun is about, um, it's choosing joy. It's choosing the things that light you up. We're focusing on where we're headed, not on where we've been. And this is allowing that expansion to happen. Uh, a lot of times the sun card even shows like this line coming in, like this line of communication coming in directly from the sun, because the sun does have like these light code activations. And so I feel like, like, one could also be getting more out in the sunlight too. That could be something very um, positive and healthy for you. Um, but it is, this is coming to a mindset because the next card here is about the four of pinnacles. The four of pinnacles is about your mindset. So let's have this higher level mindset. Let's see where we're headed again, where we're headed. Now there is um, value in this card about um, managing your resources wisely, but most of the time we get so much in this card, we'll get so much in our head that we're actually blocking, we're blocking off blessings that are trying to come in. Blessings in the form of healing, blessings in the form of like new paths opening up for us, new, you know, career opportunities opening up for us. Um, so uh, we have, we're moving with the King of Swords as best move forward is Definitely to use your logic. Don't get too emotional. I feel like th this right here, the need for the retribution here 
is more about the emotions that are involved in this. And so this is telling you, don't be so emotional in this decision. Uh, don't like, we're going to lead with logic. We're leading with logic, not using too much emotion. We're not letting that part kind of guide this because I think the emotion is the part that keeps us in this energy right here of just the fear, the fear of um, one, it, this is a lot of times a too good to be true, like that kind of fear. Like, I don't want to take that move. It looks really good on paper, but I just don't think that it's actually going to work out. So we're look we're looking at this very logically, but we're not going to get here in this analytical of just pessimism. We're keeping our thoughts high. All right. So we're going to close this one out with the art of manifestation oracle. So what can you do right now to help bring your manifestations in? We have leadership. We all lead by example. Our words and actions presenting a role model to everyone that we come in contact with. This card asks you to take an ownership of your own personal leadership qualities and align your thoughts, words, and actions with everything that you wish to see in the world. And so um, one here, I'm coming back to this, you know, so you don't like the way that these people behaved that got you into this situation. So you're going to be the better person in the situation. That's how you're leading by example here is you're showing what integrity looks like. You're showing what it means to walk with your head held high and then leadership, even in this situation right here, because this is, you know, one leading with the logic. I think that you do have this role coming back even with this one of being seen, of being more front and center, uh, front stage. So, um, all right. So the hope that I hope that you do see in this is that you still have a whole lot of life to live despite probably going through some very significant life altering event. All right, so I'm going to close it out there for group A and we're moving on with group B. Okay, so group B, these are the people who have heart healing, something very heart centered that they're working through and they need some guidance for that. All right, so group B. All right, so we're going to start with the angels and auras oracle. And so your angel message is career transition, change, excitement, opportunity, advancement. And so, I mean, this is also another way to look at this is there's a portal energy happening here. And so even if you don't have a career, you're, you're leveling up in some way, you're changing your day-to-day -day routine in some way. This is a complete timeline shift that we're talking about. All right, so career transition. New opportunities are about to present themselves. It's time for you to consider what's next in your career. Do you want to move up? or move over to a different job entirely? Are you considering retirement? All of, it, all of these topics can be represented by this card. Where is your heart leading you? What makes you excited? Line up your options and where your heart leaps with joy, go there. So, I mean, you've got some big change coming, uh, but most, mostly it's coming with your career. All right, so... The next card is from the Divine Masters. What message do the Divine Masters have for you? We have Commander Ashtar. Leadership activation. Time to evolve. Trust in your ability to guide others. Wow, you are very much leveling up because you are moving now into a truly leadership area. So this is Commander Ashtar. All right, where are you at? 22. That's a powerful number in itself. OK. 
Okay. Ashtar and the Ashtar Command are here to bring you the message that you have the ability to help others heal and evolve. The challenges that you are surmounting are opportunities to lead by example. Living honestly and sharing your truth have always been important to you. Now you are being given the opportunity to live your truth in view of the whole world. Don't be afraid to take the lead. To evolve into your leadership role, you have to assume your position in the world. Your ego may be loud at this time and may, may try to keep you small. Don't fight it. Just prove to yourself and others that you have what it takes to silence this voice of limitation. You were born to lead, so lead. And so I do think that for group two, you are absolutely leveling up into this very powerful leadership role that you have a mission and purpose that's very loud and clear. So I'm going to say even not necessarily connected to your finances. This is truly a life purpose feeling for me that's coming out of this. But career definitely means that, I mean, it very much could bring you money, could be a true career path for you. All right. So um, this first line here is showing just kind of the current snapshot of where you're at right now. So we have the five of cups. strength like you are just holding on for dear life and the king of wands so my original feeling kind of still feels like it's coming out i feel like that this career is actually a um it's a self-employment thing. It's a business that you are trying to get off the ground. It's something that you're doing for yourself. And I think that, you know, you've kind of felt because, you know, it's the heart healing part of this is that like all the efforts that you've been putting in just haven't given you any of the payoff that you thought it was. And so you've started to kind of doubt whether this was the path that you were supposed to be taking. But the guidance here is that you're actually supposed to be stepping up even more into a more of a leadership role here that you're really just owning, just really owning this that much more. Um, and so we have, you know, here with the five of cups, that's grieving because it, it just feels like nothing turned out the way that you thought it would, that you had one intention, one plan when you set out to do this, and it just didn't turn out the way that you thought it would. But I don't think that all is lost because that's one of the things with this card that you can see is that while he's focused on everything that is lost, because there is loss involved in this card, there is the two of cups here that is behind him, that's still there. There's still strong love. There's still life left to live. There is still life left to live. Um, and um, it's just going to take some strength. With the strength card, it's just going to take, I mean, just this ability to overcome. But that's, you do have that. And then with the King of Wands, this is really just going after what you know is yours. Like, just don't give up. This is just having the confidence that because you already know that this is your path. You already know that this was meant for you. Like, don't give up. Um, your best move forward here is the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. And so with this card right here, the first thing that I get is like, you've already set certain things into motion. And so don't go messing with too much. Like don't overthink this process. You've already set certain things in motion. And so now it just takes the time for those things to get to where they're headed. So you've like, this is like you pulled the arrow back and now that they're, they're headed out, you know, they've taken off in their direction, but now then you have to just wait for, for them to hit the mark to hit the mark that you've aimed for. You've already set it in motion. So, so there's not really a lot that you need to do other than just trust that what you've done, like trust that, you know, when you um, aimed, when you hit your mark, that you were aiming at the correct place. And this is again with the Knight of Pentacles. It's like, just keep doing the work. 
day by day, brick by brick. You just keep showing up, doing the work. You've prepared yourself. You already prepared yourself for this. And so with the five of wands, it's about just everybody getting on the same page. This is about coming into alignment. This is about, you know, just having integrity, doing it the right way. There's no fast way to get there. There's just no fast way to get there. It just has to happen at the timing and pace that it's supposed to happen. It's just, there's this alignment that's trying to you know, come in, come together. And I feel like the, the greater the vision, you've got to think about all of the pieces that kind of have to work together, all of the synchronicities, you know, that like, okay, these people have to meet and these people have to meet and these connections have to show up. Just all of these different parts and pieces that have to work together to bring together the thing that you are trying to bring in, you know, to bring this leveling up. So um, that's what I see with this card right here with the, five of wands is it's just, this is where we're at. We're still getting all the pieces and parts together. All right. So what can you do right now to help bring your manifestations in? We have giving and receiving. Give and take is different to giving and receiving. Taking and receiving are not the same thing. We, when we take, Whoever we take from may or may not have chosen to give. However, when we receive, choice and respect are an integral part of the exchange. Let go of any need to take and embrace the harmony of giving and receiving. So um, I feel like this is just having very balance to, you know, what we're doing. Again, I mean, I kind of feel it kind of connected with this card right here. It's about that integrity. It's about just knowing that everything's going to happen when it's going to happen. We don't have to do anything that is um, unkind, unfair. You know, like we, like it's going to happen exactly when and how it's supposed to happen. All right. So uh, I'm going to close it out there for group B and now we're ready for group C. All right, so group C, this is your spiritual path and ascension. These are the people looking just for how can I ascend? All right, so we're going to start with the angels and auras oracle card, and we have focus on your health, wellness, active, radiant nourishment. And so I think that, you know, just self care is going to be the thing that's the most important, you know, for staying, you know, in alignment with your spiritual path. Um, all right. Focus on your health. I think that also part of this is just saying that you've done a good job, too, about focusing on your health. Okay. Okay. The angels are congratulating you on your awareness of health and wellness. It is also a reassurance that if you're currently struggling with a physical challenge, it will get better. Your body is acclimating to a higher vibration. Your aura is glowing with the energy of health and healing. And so I do want to say that a lot of times when um, you go through, you know, a spiritual awakening and you really do start leveling up into these higher levels of vibration, your whole health, it's a whole health that changes. And so, you know, one of the things that you might even start doing before that leads up to your spiritual awakening is that you might get health conscious as far as your food. You get really um, purposeful, intentional about the foods that you're eating because you understand how the foods will interact with your system. So, you know, some things are going to be, you know, things that are going to lift you up and some things are actually high vibrational foods and some things are low vibrational foods. And so you kind of see wherever their vibration is, is what it's going to be doing to you. And so you're starting to make those um, choices. You're not actually in that place yet, but you're starting to get the inspiration that's coming in, that's leading you down this path. Cause you understand that, you know, I can't eat, you know, fast food every single day because that's not healthy. And, you know, one of the biggest ways that you can look at it is to see, like, leave that fast food sitting for just even, you know, a couple of weeks and you see how it doesn't even decay like a normal healthy tissue of any type of other 
you know, plant or animal species out there does. Can you kind of look at it? Well, what kinds of chemicals, what things are really in that food that are making me, you know, like that are that I'm consuming with it that are making it to where it's not even decaying. And so those are usually like some of the first thoughts that you might have that start you down this path of health, health and wellness that start you know, that self-care. And so self-care kind of leads to self-love and they're not the same things. But I think that's the thing. You started pouring into yourself with your health first, first usually um, in the form of your food, in the form of your food. And so like that little bit of transformation, just taking out certain chemicals that you had been eating just through the process of processed foods, you know, especially if you were eating like fast foods, but processed foods in general will also have these chemicals that I'm talking about, like removing, that's kind of a detox that you were naturally doing to your body. So you start getting those things out, your system start working in better alignment with the way that they were actually supposed to be working. And that's kind of what's leading you in these higher levels of ascension. All right. So um, the next card is your message from the divine masters and we have wow leveling up with jesus okay acts of service when you serve the universe serves you and i want to say that a lot of people do start their spiritual paths through jesus through christianity and so like it gets really confusing when we're on the spiritual path you know that we start veering away from the ways that christianity had originally taught us um it can be really really scary so i feel like that that's really connecting with a lot of the people that are you know, part of group C is that you probably came from, you know, a strong background of Christianity. And so now and then you're kind of veering off from the things that you were taught as a young child through the church. And you're not even sure if you're even supposed to be looking at some of this stuff. Um, so I want to say one of the things that I've been really kind of the message that I've been receiving over and over and over is it's the same path that when you went into that path, you know, that led you to Christianity, it's the same path. It's just the ascended version of that path. It just continues to ascend. So if you're really, truly following the life of Jesus, then there's actually no way that you don't end up ascending because if you follow, you know, that he is telling you to look within, you know, that your, uh, your guidance is within, uh, um, he tells you, I mean, he really does show you he, the way, the truth and the light. Um, and so if that's the place where you started your path, you know, and you're thinking now like, oh, I did something wrong. You aren't on, you aren't even on a different path. It was the same path. This path was still leading to that same place. And I could probably say the same thing is true. Like if you were um, coming from, you know, Buddhism and we're talking about Buddha, um, Buddha was still teaching the same concepts. The ascended masters were still teaching the same concepts of ascension, you know? And so I just feel like that this group is very highly connected with the Christianity path. And, um, this was the path you, you didn't really change your path. And I think that there's something important that you need to know. Um, we have, uh, three, 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 three on the clock. Um, which is very connected with the Ascended Master. So let me read this one to you for Jesus. It's just always so it's very special when Jesus shows up in a reading. I'm very connected with Jesus. Um, when this card appears, you're being invited to tune into the energy of service. Service is showing up with a generous heart and sharing your gifts in a way that can help the expansion of the world. It's important not to confuse the energy of service with charity, for these are two different energies. And when you serve, it's okay for your gifts, talents, and service to be honored in an energetic exchange. Today, the light of heaven is encouraging you to recognize that you deserve to be honored for the talents that you share. Jesus is here to help you move beyond any old ideas that you have to give until you are empty. You aren't here to live empty or half full. The divine plan is for you 
to enjoy fulfillment and abundance. Instead of asking the universe or or God to use you, ask to be guided to serve in a way that also serves you. When you are full and overflowing, you have more energy and resources to share with others. And so, yes, ask to serve in a way that also serves you. Serve in a way that also serves you. Okay, so this first line here is just showing me the current timeline that you're on, just kind of what's currently going on for you. All right, so we have the magician. Justice. Death. Those are all major arcanas. So with the magician, that's Capricorn. Justice is Libra. Death is Scorpio. And again, so this is some big deal. I do think that you are possibly very much going through a spiritual awakening. And I feel like you're very grappling with uh, this concept right here of how does this line up with, you know, the life that you've already been living in, you know, service to Jesus. And like I said, it's just, it's really the same path. And so um, I think the one part you need to understand is your service is actually part of what brought this in your service and um, devotion to Jesus is part of what brought this in. Like I said, if you were truly following the path of Jesus, this is what got you here. Um, this is with justice. This is fair. This is things are being made right. So, you know, part of what Jesus said that he was doing was he was, um, he was going to start building new earth. He was starting, he was starting to build new earth. Well, we don't have to wait. We don't have to wait until we die to get to experience new earth. We get to help him. You know, every, that's what he was teaching us. We get to help him each and every day to bring this new earth into reality. That's the 5D life that we've been talking about. And it just brings in, you know, this great transformation. So, I mean, your life has just completely changed. I feel like, again, it started with getting more health conscious about the things that you were putting into your body and probably not even just in the form of food. We're talking even mentally what you were allowing to go into your brain, into your mind. I'm positive that you started shutting off, you know, a lot of the mainstream media. You stopped watching a lot of the TV that had all of these agendas that were, you know, like pushing at you. Um, you did a lot of things that led you up to this place. And so your life is going through a complete transformation. So your best move forward right now is the Five of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Wands. So the Five of Swords is, okay, this is about not getting a big head, not thinking that you're better than anyone just because you're on the spiritual path, just because you have ascended to this you know, higher level of consciousness. I mean, and that's all it is. It's levels of consciousness. So just think about where you were at before this opened up for you. You were no worse off as a human being, like you weren't a lesser human being just because you didn't know this information. You just know information now that you didn't know before. And so it's helping you to make better decisions. And so that alone is helping to transform your life into this 5D reality, this new earth reality, but you weren't any lesser of a person. So I think that that's one thing to try not to get into this. Um, one thing that can happen a lot of times when you're on the spiritual path and these things do start opening up to you that have never happened before. And a lot of times, you know, the people around you are not quite open up to yet is when you start having all of, all of your gifts opening up, you know, your healing gifts opening up, you know, your, um, your intuition and your psychic, you know, clairs opening up, it can give you sometimes the God complex of, you know, the, like, I have to save people, you know, like, like Jesus. Um, but that's not really, you know, you can help people, you can guide people, you can teach people, you can lead people. You can show them things that you learned, you know, just because it helped you but you're no better than those people. Those people have those same abilities. They just don't know it yet. Because remember, you didn't know it either. Just 
not that long ago. These things are just newly opening up for you too. And so there's nothing to say that it's not going to open up for every single human being on the planet, but it will open up in exactly the right timing for each person. All right. So uh, you just need to stay focused on you. Follow your heart. Just follow the guidance of your heart. You know, just be open to the direction that it's calling you. And then with the page of wands, this is also having that childlike innocence. It's about kind of almost like an exploration of the world again, just kind of re-seeing the world through these childlike lenses. Because when we get older, you know, we go through so many experiences that we think that we know the world. We think that we know the way things are. We just, you know, we've got like this clear vision now of how things really are versus when we were a child and we were still learning. We're getting back to this place, especially after you go through a spiritual awakening. You're getting back to this place of um, just having, you don't really know all the answers. And I think that that's one of the things you do have to let go of is thinking that you do have all the answers. You have access to the answers. You have access to the guidance, but you don't have all of the answers. It's ever expanding you know, as everybody's learning and growing all the time, you know, there is evolution happening. That's why we continue to open up to all these new levels. But um, be curious, be curious and don't think that you do know, like you've got to let go of this idea that you do know. And so like when you can start looking through the world through these child eyes again, you know, through the child lens of just like I'm open to learning. I just want to know. I just want to see and experience and enjoy all right, so uh, what can you do right now to help bring your manifestations in? We have take a risk. Step out of your comfort zone. Feeling safe and secure is a wonderful experience, but if we remain in our safe zone for fear of change, we create a limiting and restrictive environment that can ultimately lead to stagnation and the loss of our creative potential to manifest our greatest contribution to the world. Let go of fear and take a risk. And so we are not moving in fear. We are absolutely moving in love. And so that is this energy right here. It's just kind of, again, like, let's see what happens if I take this path. Let's see what happens when I take this uh, step. All right, so I'm gonna close it out there um, for group three. And whoops, hold up. Okay, I'm back. Okay. So if you have found value in this video, I would appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe to this channel. You can hit the bell for notifications and it lets you know every time we post new videos. We post daily videos. Uh, each reader has a different day that they're posting right now. I'm taking Tuesdays, so I'm swapping between angel messages one week Twin Flame Tuesdays on the next week. Um, and then we also have our, on Mondays and Fridays, we're having our lives where we are, um, whoever can come together. It's usually two or three of us are coming together and we're pulling cards for our viewers on Mondays and Fridays. So at Mondays, it's at 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. And on Fridays, it's at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Um and uh, if you would like to know how anything more about how to book with the readers or anything like that, that's down in the description box below. Other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week and I will see you next Tuesday. All right. Bye, guys.